please welcome to the stage contestant number one, Samantha Price. Samantha is a junior at Martin County High School and describes herself as determined, outgoing, and open-minded. Her hobbies include playing flag football, modeling, weightlifting, and loves spending time with her family at her Nona's house, especially when eating lasagna. And next we have contestant number two, Riley Rich. <laughs> Riley is a junior at Jensen Beach High School and describes herself as curious, extroverted, and animated. She enjoys swimming, the theater, and singing and hopes to one day perform in an opera house. Riley's favorite food is anything Italian. Contestant number three is Savannah Gill. Savannah is a sophomore at Jensen Beach High School and describes herself as positive, responsible, and outgoing. She enjoys singing, riding horses, and being a sister to two younger brothers, and dancing even though she doesn't think she's good at it. <laughs> Contestant number four is Brianna Jockham. Brianna is a junior at the Clark Advanced Learning Center and describes herself as courageous, outgoing, and lively. She stays busy serving as the coxswing for the intrepid rowing team, for which she has also rowed as bow seat. Contestant number five is Audrey Howe. Aubrey is a junior at the Clark Advanced Learning Center. She describes herself as bubbly, compassionate, and sassy. Aubrey has been twirling since the fifth grade and plans to continue at FSU after high school, where she would like to major in family and child sciences. Next we have contestant number six, Sophia Mendez. <laughs> Sophia is a sophomore at Martin County High School and describes herself as optimistic, kind, and outgoing. She stays busy with cheerleading and volunteering for children with special needs and likes to spend her free time with family. Contestant number seven is Bree Cresswell. <laughs> Bree is a sophomore at South Fork High School and describes herself as energetic, outgoing, passionate. She has been dancing for 12 years, plays varsity lacrosse, and was the 1,000th baby born at Martin Memorial Hospital. Bree plans on attending UF and later becoming a sports broadcaster. Next we have contestant number eight, Chloe Poston. <laughs> Chloe is a junior at South Fork High School, where she's involved in basketball, cheerleading, weightlifting, and archery at the varsity level. She describes herself as caring, fun, and talkative, and enjoys spending free time hunting, boating, and says that going to dinner with her family is always a good time. Next we have contestant number nine, Bailey Otto. <laughs> Bailey is a freshman at South Fork High School and describes herself as kind, outgoing, and well-rounded. She keeps a full schedule of dancing, singing, and going hunting with family. After high school, Bailey wants to attend a good college and to travel with Norway at the top of her list. Next we have contestant number 10, Natalie Patton. Natalie! Natalie is a sophomore at South Fork High School where she is in the IB program and also started a supply drive to support the local sea turtle hospital and turtle conservation. She describes herself as passionate, caring, and ambitious. And contestant number 11, Kendall Conlo. Kendall is a sophomore at Martin County High School and describes herself as respectful, outgoing, and kind. Kendall is involved in the leadership program, is a varsity cheerleader, and also coaches cheer to five, six, and seven-year-olds. These young ladies have all done a great job. So while the judges are scoring and the scores are being tallied, please help me welcome back to We're here on set of this year's Miss Florida Teen USA. This is so not your typical pageant. Think of Miss Florida Teen USA as more of a great summer camp. Make new friends, gain self-confidence, and represent your hometown. And parents, you'll like this part. A college scholarship from Florida Atlantic University for the winner. Visit our website, be our friends on Facebook or Instagram, or watch our videos on YouTube. Miss Florida Teen USA, making dreams come true.